hey, it's been a while. Um, I wanted to talk to you about one of the things trainers always say to their students, and that is, open up your hips. You need a deeper seat. You're bouncing, relax, all those things that they say. And what they're really trying to say is your connection stinks, um, <laughs> to put it bluntly. So this is one of the exercises you need to do where you sit on your equisizer or your horse um, and just have a few moments of riding and then get off. <laughs> and then what you need to do is see the difference after you do this exercise. So what you need to do is you need to take your outside leg away from your horse, swing it out, and then back, forward, back, forward, back, or do it about 10 times, and then swing out further, you're going to see that you get a little bigger swing, and then forward, back, again, do this several times, and then swing. And then repeat, doing the opposite direction, and you're probably going to find that you're stiffer on one side than the other. Back, back, out, out, you can swing in front, swing behind, behind is going to be harder for most people, front, straight out, back, front, back, circles are good, front, swings, back, swings, and then get on your horse. So we're going to get on. And what you should do is after you've mounted up, you might feel some difference already. And trainers love to have you ride without your stirrups. So get yourself seated and then drop your stirrups. You should feel totally different now than you did when you, before the exercise, tried getting under your exerciser. Um, you should feel really connected. And you know, without stirrups really helps this, but doing those stretches open up, opens up your hip flexors and gets you deeper in the saddle. Now guys don't have this problem. <laughs> guys can get on a horse, sit on a horse, drape themselves on the horse, and they look amazing no matter what. Uh, they're connected. But we ladies, we need to open up our hip flexors so that we can get that deep connected seat. So try that exercise and then drop your stirrups after you've done the front, back, front, back, and then out on your own horse or out on your equisizer front, back, front, back. You're going to find that you don't cramp up as much if you do it on the ground first. So that's just my tip for the day for opening up your hip flexors for a deeper connected seat. Talk to you next time.